just a little bit excited, Storytime friends? It's National Library Week! Hello! Today at the library, we read books all about the library, and we're gonna do that today. So join me! Come on! Okay, Storytime friends, I'm going to try to contain my excitement about National Library Week. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna give it a try. Let's start out with our hello song. Goes like this. Hello friend, hello friend, hello friend. It's time to say hello, hello friends. Okay, let's get started with our very first book. It's called Lola at the Library. And this book is by Anna McQuinn. Lola loves Tuesdays. We do too. That's our story time day, friends. Okay. On Tuesdays, Lola and her mommy go to the library. The library opens at nine o'clock, but Lola is ready to go long before that. She puts all the books she borrowed last week in her backpack. Her library card is also very important. The library is not very far away, so Lola and her mommy always walk there. Lola and her mommy give back the books from last week. The librarian buzzes them through the machine. There is a special section in the library just for children. It is really cool. Nobody ever says, shh. Sometimes there is singing. Lola knows all the words and the hands for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Sometimes there is story time. Okay, hold on a second. Story time out. I gotta get excited for just a second. Story time! Woo 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 woo! Story time! Okay, all right. We're we're getting back. I will try to contain my excitement. <sighs> I can't promise anything. Story time. After story time, Lola chooses her books. In the library, she can have any book she wants. Lola likes stories with bears and anything with shoes. There are so many, it takes ages to choose. Mommy has some books too. The librarian buzzes them through the machine then stamps the date inside. Lola must bring them back in two weeks, but she will probably be back for more long before then. Lola and her mommy always get a snack after visiting the library. Mommy has a cappuccino and Lola has juice. Whenever Lola has been good, her mommy lets her taste the foam. Mm. Then it's time to go home again. Every night after Lola is tucked in bed, her mommy reads her a story. It's the best way to end the day. I think so too. Yay! And now let's sing our first song. And it's If You're Happy and You Know It, but it's got a couple different book versions. It goes like this. I hope you'll sing along with me. If you're happy and you know it, read a book. Read a book. If you're happy and you know it, read a book. Read a book. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, read a book. Read a book. If you're happy and you know it, fancy Nancy, ooh la la. If you're happy and you know it, fancy Nancy, ooh la la. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, fancy Nancy, ooh la la. If you're happy and you know it, Pete the Cat, feeling groovy. If you're happy and you know it, Pete the Cat, feeling groovy. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, Pete the Cat, feeling groovy. If you're happy and you know it, sling a web, zing, zing. If you're happy and you know it, sling a web, zing, zing. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, sling a web, zing, zing. Do you think we can do all of them? Let's give it a go. 
If you're happy and you know it, read a book. Read a book. Ooh la la. Feeling groovy. Sling a web. Zing zing. Woo! That was fun, guys. Story time out. If you like this channel, subscribe. That way you know every time I post a new video. Okay, back to story time. Our next book is called, I Took My Frog to the Library, and it is by Eric A. Kimmel. I took my frog to the library, but he jumped on the checkout desk and scared the librarian. I took my hen to the library, but she laid an egg in the card catalog. I took my pelican to the library, but he hid the dictionary in his pouch and no one could find it. I took my python to the library, but she shed her skin all over the picture books. Ooh, wow. I took my giraffe to the library, but he tried to read over everyone's shoulder. I took my hyena <laughs> to the library, but he laughed so loud during story time that no one could hear the story. How rude. I took my elephant to the library. My elephant is very well behaved. She stacked her books neatly on the checkout desk. She asked the librarian's help when she needed it. She listened to the story and laughed in all the right places. But my elephant is very big. So big. So big. So big. She wrecked the library. The librarian said, Bridget, you're always welcome in the library. But next time you come to the library, please leave your animals at home. So whenever I go to the library, my frog stays at home, my hen stays at home, my pelican stays at home, my python stays at home, my giraffe stays at home, my hyena stays at home. And my elephant reads to them. Now it's time to say goodbye. Oh, it makes me so sad, but I know I'm going to see you next week. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, friend. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Love you, book buddies. See you next week.